Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you three simple hairstyles for bangs. This style does not include heat. So first, you want to take out your hair and do that for all of them. Make sure you brush out all your hair and make sure there's no knots and tangles because you're going to be taking pieces and if you hit a tangle, that will really, really hurt. So you're going to need a middle part for this. Um, you don't have to go down your head because you're actually going to be taking this and put it all over to one side onto your heavy side, also known as the side where all your bangs are. And how to do this rope twist, you're going to have to um, have two pieces starting at the root um, and you want to separate that into two and then twist them. So put one on top of the other, then add um, a little piece of hair to the one to the strand closest to your face and then twist it and then just continue that process. way guys I'm sorry if I'm doing a lot of voiceovers I just find that they're kind of like fun and I don't know I'll I try to put like me talking in the beginning of some of my videos but right here you're gonna be um, just taking the hair all the hair you want to get all the hair and make sure it's nice and tight and twisted and at the end you want to twist it a couple times and then put the hair tie over top of it because it might untwist um, bad experiences with that like this hairstyle because all your bangs stay in place and it's nice and like locked in there and I actually have side swept bangs so for the second hairstyle you want to take all your bangs and a little bit of excess hair and tie them to the front of your head and then brush some hair back all the rest of the hair back and you want to put that in a ponytail because we're gonna be um we're kind of gonna like make a French braid on the top and then with the bangs because you can't pull them back obviously but take the hair tie out of what you already Pinned your bangs back with and make a hair like pony I guess you could say yeah pony and then you want to take the hair and you want to French braid it so how you French braid it um, start from the root go with three pieces and then um, I don't know if it's called a Dutch I think it's called a Dutch braid I'm not sure though and you want to do one stitch to so go over twice and then add hair to the one closest to your face and we're not adding hair on both sides just the one closest to your face and then braid and then yeah and you can just follow that now you can get a little elastic band and hair tie that and um, when you I realize that when you do that um, when you try to like pull it pull it back it makes little tiny strands but I fixed that at the end guys don't worry but now you're just gonna be taking out the ponytail and um, re ponytailing it retying it <laughs> Um, with the piece um, that you have excess. That's why you wanted to do that with a little bit of the excess hair on the side of your head because you need it to reach the end, I guess. You can say, yeah, sure. And then take a bobby pin or two if you have little, you know, little flyways. For the third and final look, you want to put a part down the middle and we're going to be doing two French braids just because it locks in all your bangs and I absolutely love it. So I already did that side just because I was going to take way too long. But I'll show you guys how to actually do this. So you want to take three pieces of hair and you want to do a stitch of a braid, which means that you're going to go over the middle twice. And then for this braid, you want to, um, after you do one stitch, you want to take some hair and add it into the strand closest to your face after you've done the first stitch. And then just continue that process. So you want to do a stitch and then add hair, stitch, add hair, stitch, add hair. And um, you just have to really practice this to be able to get it. I absolutely love French braids. I think that they're so like easy and I can even do them without a mirror and everything. And I just, I don't know, I love it for like camping, especially because when I need to go places sometimes and I don't have a mirror, it's just like horrid because I can't see and my bangs are like, probably gonna be like flying out if I just do a ponytail or a bun. If you have any flyaways, just pin those up with a couple bobby pins. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!